Welcome to this short video on Markups Pro for Revit. What is Markups Pro? It's an add-on to Autodesk software, Revit, Civil 3D, AutoCAD, etc. What we do is we bring markups directly into the design software from a PDF. We also make sure that you address every single markup. And lastly, we can place families from a PDF directly into Revit. The key benefits of markups, we complete markups faster, one to three minutes faster than the traditional methods. We make sure that all markups are addressed, so we have a counter inside our software, and every time you complete one, that number goes down. Staff are as productive in the office as when they're traveling, so what we say is dual monitors are not required. And lastly, we enable non-Revit users to utilize the design elements. What we do here is we can place Revit families directly into Revit from a Bluebeam PDF. Here you can see I'm inside Revit. So the whole idea behind this software is we wanna keep your focus inside Revit and not taking it off onto another screen looking at a PDF. So we were gonna bring these markups directly into Revit. So all we do is we come up here to the markups ribbon. We're gonna select Navigator. The Navigator panel comes up. We're gonna click on the green plus sign here and we're gonna load in a PDF. So I'm gonna load the PDF and as you can see there, it loaded 45 markups, okay? So this is what's called our list view. If you click on any markup, it'll automatically load the correct sheet, it'll zoom to the location and display the markup. Once the sheet is loaded, it's very responsive as you jump to the next markup inside that same sheet. We also give the ability to filter out all the markups on the one sheet and we can display them all at one time so you can see how much work you actually have to do on the one sheet. So this is what's called the list view. If I double click on one of these, it'll take me into what's called edit mode. Edit mode shows you the PDF here, but it still shows you the markup over here. We have the ability to turn the markup on and off inside Revit if we wanted to. We also have the ability to make them more transparent. Once we're in this edit mode, what we do is you address the markup yourself and then you click on completed. When you do that, it automatically jumps to the next markup. Once again, keeping your focus right here in Revit. I don't have to go over to another screen to see the next markup. And down below, you'll see the numbers going down. If I fix this one, I go completed, and the numbers keep going down. That way you're assuring that you're addressing every single markup. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of edit mode. If I come on down here, you'll start seeing these icons here. I'm gonna filter out the other markups. I just wanna show you those. What these are is where you can place a family in the model. So you can see here, I got a table, we've got some beds in here, there's a chair. If I'm gonna click on this chair, you'll see the chair over here. Once again, I can turn that on and off. But all I have to do is if I click on this icon right here, it'll actually place the chair directly in the model, as you can see there. I can go on to the next one. You can see this chair, it's rotated. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. I'm gonna place that directly in the model also. And lastly, I'm gonna show you a polyline. This is just a polyline that was drawn in Bluebeam. But if I hover over this icon, you'll actually see it says basic wall interior. I can click on that and it'll actually create a wall for you. This concludes this short video on Markups Pro for Revit.